What's next? Yes? Well, here I am. What is meant by someone like me? And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, they were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? My fruit? Well, it is not technically forbidden, but, but it's not freely given either. Not everyone gets a bite. I can't believe I'm having this conversation. <clears throat> but no, I did not take vows. The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become affirmed. Have coin, stranger? The doors are marked. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. to buy something, I hope. I want that surface wealth. I'll take... I have heard much about the halls of the Dwarven Kings, but the stories do it no justice. It is so strange, harsh, yet beautiful. And have you seen those tiny pig-like burrowing animals? They are adorable. I wish I could have one as a pet. But they must be hard to catch and... Oh, just ignore me. I'm so silly sometimes. Let's just go. Yes? Why is someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much? Nugs? Yes. They don't got much meat on them, but down here you can't be picky. Better than nothing. Nuggets? Lots of people sell them here in Dust Town. What for? You going to cook them up yourself? Yeah, I can find a nug for you. Could even get one from outside the city. Those ones in the deeps don't eat as much garbage. I don't know what they eat, but they always seem healthier. You know, shiny coats, bright eyes. How much you giving me? Real silver, huh? I'll get you a big one for that. Give me some time. I'll hunt them down for you. I got him. He's all squirmy, but he's a big fella. Forty silver? Real silver? I... I could buy something proper with that. A good meal, maybe a real blanket. I knew you'd be good on your word. Nice doing business. Thank you. 
Oh, it's one of those subterranean bunny pigs. Oh, look at him. Come here, you. Thank you so much. You've made my day. a bloody scavenger. Be gone, you! You'll bring... Word has it you could only survive down here by eating the dark spawn. It, it, it burns when it goes down! It's my claim! Careful, these creatures look a mite upset. Go away! This is mine! Only I get... It's mine! I'm the one who found it! I drove out the crawlers! Now it's mine! You... You won't take anything from Ruck? You won't take... Oh! Ruck not... Ruck has some things. I enjoy the nights at camp. The night always seems more peaceful to me, safer. I feel the night grants us a reprieve from the troubles of the day. Silly, isn't it? The darkspawn never sleep, and they lurk in the shadows. I enjoy those nights when we stand guard together, talking to pass the time in those small hours. Well, I talk and you listen, mostly. Sometimes, I succumb and fall asleep and wake to find you still watchful, and I know you're watching out for me. What I'm trying to say is, is that I trust you. I'm comfortable around you. I know you'll be there when I need you. You are our, our leader and my friend and sometimes I think that m maybe we could be more than that. Maker, look at me stumbling over my words like an ill-educated peasant girl. Some bard I am. Really? N no one told me. You you felt the same way and didn't do me the courtesy of informing me? You made me say all those things. Why couldn't you have said them first? Oh, you... Oh, how very awkward. Oh, chivalry is so dead. Making the lady spill her guts like that. Well, I, um, that settles it then. I lied to you, you know, about why I left Orle. I didn't feel like talking about it then, what happened to me. Maybe it will affect us, maybe not, but you should know. I came to Ferelden and... 
I was tempted to confront her. I was... And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry, and, the... and that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. It feels good to have this off my... It has been some time since I left Lothering. When I stepped out of the cloister, I had no idea where my path would lead. I walked where the Maker led me, and he has rewarded me for my faith. I found you. You don't know how it makes me feel to hear you say that. But now it's getting late. I think I might turn in early. I can't help thinking about how soft and warm my bedroll is. You're welcome to join me, of course. The Maker says we must share our blessings. Good. Now come with me before I lose my patience. I've been up for some time, but yes, I slept very well. I've just been watching you sleep. Did you know your eyelids flutter when you dream? And you have such pretty eyelashes. Mm-hmm. They're like little butterflies. I want to catch them and keep them in a jar. Maybe. I'm so happy, blissful. I haven't slept so well since I was forced to flee from Orlais. Knowing you will be the first thing I see when I wake gives me no small amount of comfort. I feel safe in your arms. Safe, loved and accepted. This is where I belong. Thank you. I suppose I should get up. We have a long day ahead of us. Come on! Darkspawn await with bated breath for you to put them out of their misery. What are you... Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I suppose the Darkspawn will just have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> 